What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be going over the top five places, adventures, and activities to do in the Philippines. All right, what's up guys? So today we're gonna to dive into my favorite places across the Philippines, going over some of the hot spots and some of the most popular islands, Cebu, Coron, and El Nido. The Philippines is an amazing country filled with pristine beauty in pretty much every direction you look. It's the ultimate traveler's paradise. Alright, so first up on the island of Coron, we have Twin Lagoon, Blue Lagoon, and Kayangan Lake. An unbelievable place filled with sharp edged limestone cliffs, more islands than you can count, and just ridiculous aqua and turquoise hued water. It's accessible only via boat from Coron Island, but you can take a cheap island group tour or charter your own boat based on your own preference. It's a great place for adventure filled with tons of activity like snorkeling, diving, kayaking, and just a day on the water in some of the most pristine landscapes in the world. Next up for number two is swimming with the whale sharks in Oslo, and this is on the south end of Cebu Island. I did a full video on this experience if you'd like to see it, I'll link that. But this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You get to swim in open water with whale sharks that range from 18 to 32 feet and weigh about 20 tons. They're literally the size of a school bus. It's insane and this is the ultimate bucket list adventure. It's just pretty surreal being in the open water with these giant fish and the coolest part is they're not dangerous. So if you are scared of the fact that you're swimming with sharks, they're actually fish and they pose absolutely no threat to humans, so it's a super safe activity. Next up for number three is Cabasan Falls, and this is also on the south side of Cebu Island. This waterfall definitely gained a lot of popularity over the years from social media, and it's no wonder, it's a range of waterfalls, Cabasan being the main one, but they all flow through this lush tropical rainforest. All of the water is a deep aqua blue. It honestly looks like a scene out of a movie. Cabasan Falls is great for swimming and relaxing, but there's also tons of fun activities for the more adventurous inclined, like cliff jumping and canyoneering. The canyoneering consists of kind of like hiking through the water. Some of it includes slides and small jumps, but there are definitely big jumps as well if you're looking for them. All right, so number four, El Nido, and this is in the Palawan region of the Philippines. While El Nido isn't an exact one single spot, it's more of an area, but it is stunning. You'll end up staying at a hotel on El Nido Island and then from there the main activity is just booking day tours where you'll island hop on a boat with a group kind of outward from the main island. This region is known for just endless white sand beaches, jaw dropping cliffs, coral reefs, lagoons, and there's even some underwater caverns that you can explore. And it's awesome too because there's so many islands that you can literally do a different boat tour every single day and you'll never see the same stuff. It's amazing. Last but not least, at number five is Aguanid Falls, and this is also on the south end of Cebu Island. This is one of the more unique waterfalls I've seen. The rock kind of just looks extremely like clean and soft, unlike the normal like rocky, sharp formations across the Philippines. And it's just like Cabasan Falls, where it's filled with awesome scenery, but there's also tons of adventure. It's a lot lesser known than Cabasan Falls, so there's a high chance you'll be able to avoid the crowds here. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.